Hi, everybody. I'm State Representative Eddie Day Pashinsky, and I'm having one great time right here at the 108th Pennsylvania Farm Show. And to make this even better, I am sitting next to our Ag Chairperson, our Secretaries, Secretary Redding. We are so grateful to, to have you, you here. Yeah, we thank have you, a thank you. pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, we had a, a great day. Wonderful hearing today, and um, I just I think so many people in Pennsylvania don't realize the incredible gift they have with the farm show. Uh, if you're not involved in ag, you may not realize exactly what's down here. Uh, and I think one of the things we want to promote is the fact that Pennsylvania has the largest indoor farm show in the entire country. Yep. Uh, what's it? Over a million square feet yeah, under square under feet. roof. And so many wonderful things happen here. Today we had the opportunity to have a hearing talking about something extremely special for Pennsylvania. We are the only state in the entire country that has a Pennsylvania farm bill. That farm bill was, was generated by Secretary Redding. His guidance, his know-how has put that together. It's been five years and we had an incredible hearing today. So, uh, would you like to share some thoughts about that, Secretary? Well, Mr. Chairman, th first of all, thank you. I mean, you're, you're kind in, in truth. The, the presentation. Um, you know, the truth uh, is, I mean, there's, there's an amazing group of people, right? Uh, stakeholders, uh, Republicans, Democrats, rural, urban, came together, at House and Senate, to do something really historic for Pennsylvania. Yep. And we saw the benefits of that today with a five-year five years of our farm bill investments. Uh, you have farm transitions, you have urban agriculture. There are folks who were never recognized for their contribution to the food system in urban centers yeah. before. <clears throat> you know, we couldn't, couldn't even buy a shovel, right, to help them. Now you got a greenhouse. Uh, so we see all of that inside of our farm bill. And I'm very proud, you know, <laughs> when you think about what we have done. Uh, and, and then here, right, it sort of translates. There's an energy here, there's investment. You want to be a farmer down the, the, just down behind us here. You've got investments in PA Preferred that have never been done before. That is all inside our, our PA Farm Bill. And that's a, that's a thanks to you, your committee, <coughs> and, and, and the Senate as well. Well, it, it, took, a, it took a team. Yeah. There was bipartisanship from uh, day one. And again, that, that Pennsylvania Farm Bill has become the mechanism, the plan for the future. Uh, that plan is now involved in making sure that we have young people involved, getting ready to become the future farmers. That plan has also helped our homegrown for heroes, our veterans come out. That plan has now provided dollars so that we can promote PA preferred. We have the organics. There are so many things that most people in Pennsylvania don't realize we have. And now we're trying to come up with ways in which we can promote it. And the, the testimony that we heard today was a perfect example of how the investment that we made through our farm bill with the grants has now just uh, spiraled into success. I'll give you one example. Our, our butcher, he was able to produce approximately 5,000 pounds of of uh, processed meat. With the grant and with the improvements in the equipment, et cetera, he's now producing 60,000 pounds of that. That's the kind of thing that that farm bill does. Right, I, I was very proud. He, he is almost a neighbor to me, uh, and I didn't know that. Oh. Right? I knew he was a neighbor, knew he had a little you know, meat, meat operation, uh, but when he shared the numbers, I'm like, yeah, that's the story. Exactly. Right? That's the guy we've been looking for. Exactly. To try to help, and what we envisioned, you know, six years ago when it was proposed, um, this is exactly who we want to help. Yes. Small business, adding value, new income, and both for him, and as he talked about, for those he's supporting. Yes. Right. That's well, he's increased. Yeah. He's increased the employees uh, uh, over a hundred percent. The other thing, being a former teacher, I was very, very impressed with the ideas of taking children. Uh, they were helping children. Uh, process, learn how to grow, learn how to cultivate. It taught them discipline, it taught them planning, it taught them how they can become a success. And the folks from out in Pittsburgh, uh, Leaf, 
and those organizations, it was truly uplifting because it's not just growing the process, it's, wait a minute, how do you plan to do that? What products do you need to grow that? What do you need to harvest that? What do you need then to present it for sale? Just a tremendous business plan. Again, only, only state in the entire country that has a farm bill. Again, because of Secretary Redding and his fine staff that's with him. Within that bill, we also have PA Preferred. And I don't mind telling the folks that are listening, I had no idea what PA Preferred was. When I first became involved, what is PA Preferred? Well, it must be something good about Pennsylvania. I just didn't know what it was. Well, I've, see that symbol? Maybe you can't. But we'll make sure that that symbol comes across. Yep, right here. There it, oh my goodness, there it is. <laughs> PA Preferred. What does that mean? You know what that means? It's grown in PA. Yeah. By PA. <laughs> Be proud of the fact that we're growing the finest food in Pennsylvania. It's happening here. And now we have a website, yeah. the PA Preferred website. Now we have an outstanding television commercial that will lead the regular folks to investigate. What is that PA Preferred all about? So when you go to your, your supermarket, that's your time to look for it. Where's that PA Preferred product? help that PA farmer out. And again, Mr. Secretary, this wouldn't happen without you. Well, I, it's our 20th year though. It's 20 here, 20th anniversary. You know, when we started out, the, the objective was, two objectives actually. One is to make sure that when you're in the marketplace, you can, as a consumer, find what is Pennsylvania. It's a complicated market, right? And two, that those who are producing the product get credit for what they're actually producing. Yes. Right, it's really important. I mean, you have to know that relationship. So, uh, yeah, we're excited. The, the PA Farm Bill has provided resources, marketing, a website, you know, you name the, the, the pieces you need to actually market the brand. Uh, and we did that through the PA Farm Bill, so thank you. Well, and we also had Secretary Vilsap today that came down and also complimented you, of course, in Pennsylvania for the fact that we have that Farm Bill. Yeah. Uh, truly re uh, truly uh, re remarkable about it. Um, now, when we talk about uh, ag, uh, we've also had to deal with uh, invasive species. We've had to deal with uh, infestation. Maybe you want to tell the folks a little bit about, we don't have any poultry here today at the uh, farm show. Yeah, it, it's one of the, um, you know, the sad parts of this is, you know, half the folks here will tell you they come to see the poultry. Uh, they're not here, right? Two years on, and that is because uh, we have a, a high path avian influenza virus still circulating around the globe. We're one of 47 states who've had high path AI in the last two years. We had a, a recent um, uh, positive case uh, right around Christmas that you know has put us back on the the, uh, you know, the high alert list. Uh, but that's all inside of agriculture, right? These are things that happen. We want to protect the flock, protect the food system. Uh, and unfortunately, then we, we can't expose others uh, to poultry. Uh, but that's just one among many sort of yes. challenges, right? But well, what we do. I bring that up only because most folks, what? We consume food, we eat food, we have no idea what's involved. The science, the work, all of the processes that have to take care, the marketing, the management. Uh, so uh, my appreciation for agriculture has been immensely uh, multiplied because I have learned so much about the process and the things that are necessary in agriculture. Uh, if we could, I'm not quite sure how much time we have, but maybe we want to work on urban ag because that's something also that people never, what do you mean urban agriculture, urbonics, whatever. Yeah. Help us out with that. Well, I, I am uh, you know, proud of a lot of things in our farm bill. Uh, but what we've been able to do to actually have, you know, investment, very targeted investment for urban agriculture, meaning you can invest in a water line, you can put up a, a, a greenhouse, uh, you can buy, you know, plant material and test soils for, you know, to make sure that it's, it's appropriate, just like we would, would on my farm. Uh, you can spend money to, to do training and education. All that's inside the, the farm bill, right? The urban ag, uh, and it's a reason, you know, I, I always point this out, and 
you know, our, our visitor's guide here, the connecting our communities. There's an urban piece. Yes. This is an Asian community in, in, the, uh, uh, in the Philadelphia region. This is a farm in Lebanon County. Yes. Right? But that is urban agriculture. So look at that, right? They are little fields, right? This is a big field, but the principles are the same. Yes. So we can invest in that. Yes. And we had testimony today from yeah. Lisa. Right. And again, some of the wonderful things that she mentioned was the kids that were the problem in that community that are now involved in that processing of growing urban agriculture have become responsible citizens. So once again, because of growing things, there's a certain discipline, certain technique, certain knowledge that must be occurred, and those kids are now getting that experience. The one other point that has to be made about that is, who would have ever thought that coming out of urban ag, we actually may get some real farmers? And that, is a p very strong possibility because those people are very much interested now. Many of them now have processed uh, the idea of that education and are now pursuing looking at ag schools to see if they uh, may want to pursue yeah. that. Yeah, I think the coolest thing about this is, um, and we met them today, they, they can be first generation farmers. Yes. Uh, and it could be 10th generation. And that is all inside this farm show, it's all inside our farm bill. Uh, it's all inside the work that you do in your committee and I do in the department, right? And we ought to be proud of that. Yep. At the end of the day, there are just more people aware and engaged and thinking constructively uh, about food and agriculture. Uh, and that's a good thing. Exactly. So, yeah, and, right. and I want to close by saying once again, what an honor it is to serve uh, with Secretary Redding as the Democratic Ag Chair. I want to compliment my Republican Ag Chair, Dan Mao. Uh, the bipartisanship is fantastic. We work together with the idea of trying to pass the kind of legislation that will help all our Pennsylvanians. I ask you, please, look for that PA preferred symbol. Remember, it's grown in PA, by PA, PA proud. Thank you very much. I'm State Rep. Eddie Day Pashinsky, along with Thanks. Secretary Thanks Redding, a real pleasure. Yeah. Thank you well all. Well done. Thank you.